Welcome everyone to our 134th webinar of our series. The big, big numbers, we've been doing these for a while and uh, really uh, um, getting some good information out and getting uh, you know a lot of people some good training and uh, really enjoying them. And lots of great people we have joining us as co-hosts. Uh, today we have uh, uh, Emiliano back with us from all the way from Milan, Italy, sitting at AIM headquarters there, and uh, appreciate him being here. We'll talk about that here more in a moment. But the uh, today uh, we, we've uh, we're going to talk about the Ray Studio 3 Math Channel function. It is one of the things that is. Um, uh, uh, substantially different. Uh, certainly it looks different, uh, has a little bit of a different feel, but there's enough of a, a relationship between the Ray Studio 2 that you probably will have a, 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 you know, some familiarity there. But uh, it's, it's, it's enough different that we wanted to have an entire function here, an entire uh, webinar d devoted to it. Um, <clears throat> as I've mentioned uh, in, in a couple of other ones, this is just one of, you know, last week, uh, the, uh, the we did one on Ray Studio 3 if you're moving from beta to production uh, and and some of the different things that we you might need to do in order to to make that transition well we've got the math channel function today uh, uh, other ones that are in this series uh, of about uh, about a month and a half that we're going to be doing one of these uh, you know six or seven webinars in a row um, the next one after this one is is moving from Ray Studio 2 to Ray Studio 3 analysis so if you've not uh, worked inside of the beta at all, and uh, and, and this is for folks that may catch these things, you know, two or three years down the road. We want them to have a a a, a, um, um, a series of of webinars they can sit down and watch. <clears throat> pardon me, and um, and 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 see how to come from Ray Studio two directly into Ray Studio three. How that how these files need to be brought across. How, what how to set up your database, things like that. So uh, that's what this one is as well. Um, Ray Studio 3 math channel function. Um, it, it has worked, uh, you know, decently in the past. Uh, Emiliano has done some uh, done some changes and has some other things in mind that we're going to talk about today. And he's just going to go through it like you haven't used it before. So, um, the the presentation materials that we're going to use, we're going to use mainly presentation. But we, at the end, we may go out into some live data if we if we uh, choose to, or the questions drive us there. The presentation materials here have been uh, have been uh, Crunched into a a PDF file, and the and it's available in the uh, <clears throat> pardon me, and available in the um, uh, in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube later. So go down there; it'll be the top link. Uh, click on that, and you'll get the presentation as a PDF. So perfect. The uh, uh, Emiliano is our co-host today. He's been here with us a number of times before. No reason to go through all of the. Uh, uh, all of the details of who Emiliano is, but the bottom line is, is uh, this is like his 13th time of, of host co-hosting with us. I appreciate it very much. A lot of effort and time, and he's the uh, main software guy at. Uh, he heads the software team at AIM Italy in in um, uh, in, in Milan, and is, uh, is very knowledgeable in these things, and has been very helpful. Takes uh, uh, very good at taking your suggestions and, and making some adjustments. Of course, he has wears multiple hats there at uh, the AIM as well, and he can't just look at Ray Studio 3 analysis all of the time. He has other software duties as well. So appreciate you being here again, Emiliano. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for having me here and for, for being here watching uh, watching this webinar. Uh, I, I I always say that my my small career is not uh, is not important into for, for 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 the aim of the for the purpose of uh, this webinar and so we can uh, we can switch to into another page <laughs> of the presentation much much truth to that of course and i always feel the same way of course i don't have a slide up here about me because so, it makes me feel uncomfortable as well but it is important that you're out there you you've uh, you've been in motorsports you've traveled out to the races i just think that uh, our users yep. uh, understand uh, feel good about uh, understanding that uh, somebody that's writing the software is also a a, a fan of motorsports uh, racing uh, the engineering side and is out there doing it occasionally so I, I really enjoy that as well so the um the the um what we're going to do here is, is i'm going to basically handle hand this over to emiliano i'm the math channel function is is uh one of a few but uh but some that uh has that uh, i don't know a ton about uh, so often i can sit here and help our co-hosts and work through some things but uh i may be learning as much with you guys as uh as the rest of you so uh we will 
hand it over to Emiliano. I'll jump in. We'll an, I'll watch the I'll watch the questions. We'll try to slide some in when we can, and we'll go from there. So I appreciate Emiliano. I'll turn it over to you at this point, and you uh, okay. talk a I little bit about the to... Math Channel's application. Okay, thank you. Uh, one of the uh, main uh, thing uh, about the the Math Channels into the Ray Studio Three software. And uh, the main difference, uh, uh, if compared to Ray Studio 2, is uh, that we now have a math uh, channel application uh, window and the math channel creation window. So we decided to separate the, um, uh, the moment in which uh, uh, you create all your, your math channels uh, from the moment in which you decide uh, uh, which channels uh, you, want, uh, you want to use for, for analysis. Uh, the idea we had uh, is that uh, you should be able to create a, a set uh, or your own sets of uh, math channels and uh, apply them when uh, when when you need them. Uh, the main uh, the main idea is that uh, in the math channel application window, you decide uh, you, um, you you tell the software that you want a channel to be calculated, and uh, from now on, every session you open. Uh, in every session you, you open, you will be finding the channel that uh, you decided to, to add. Uh, you, uh, just, uh, just as before, just as uh, Ray Studio 2 analysis, you can um, import or export, uh, export your set for backup purposes for, for sharing your, your channels with your friends, colleague, uh, colleagues, uh, or, or with the persons you, you, you can, you, you, you may be wanting to, to share with, and you can uh, import your, your math channels from, uh, from the Ray Studio 2 analysis. So if you have uh, your own sets already defined for, for your, the Ray Studio 2 analysis, they can be converted into the new Ray Studio 3 format that's a little bit more complex uh, because it, it allows a new, new, new things. And uh, you, can, you can use, uh, also your your old ones so uh but that'll be very helpful if you've got some written that are fairly complex boy bring them over and then add some of the complexity that ray studio 3 adds by by editing mm -hmm. the, the ones you imported in right the other thing yeah. and i don't know if i think you maybe even have a slide a little bit later on but one of the cool things about the math channels in ray studio 3 is you're not just uh, applying them to uh, this test or mini test but you can also apply them to data that came from a certain car, a certain logger, yep. a certain ID number, which is great for those of you that are run teams and you may have two or three cars and maybe you're working on some suspension stuff or ride height values are changing per car. And it uh, certainly is valuable to have, uh, to have that. And some stuff we're gonna talk about a few slides down the road where channel naming is not gonna be as big of a deal uh, with some things that are happening in Race Studio 3. So you can have an RPM in one and an engine RPM in the other and actually make them work together. So, yeah, yeah perfect. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, differently from uh, Race Studio 2 analysis in, in which uh, uh, the math channels uh, window, when, when you click the OK in that window, all the channels were computed uh, uh, again just uh, fr from scratch. Into the Ray Studio 3 software, the math channels are computed only when, uh, when, you, when you add them. So, uh, or when or when it's needed. So, if you modify a channel uh, that's that's referenced by by the math channel formula, and this uh, allows uh, allows the, the opening of a session to be a little bit quicker if compared to the Studio Two analysis. Uh, so, you can decide to leave the, the a lot of channels on uh, without uh, without uh, having to worry that uh, that the opening of a session will become uh, will become slow. And that's important because uh -huh. I've had a lot of folks that have talked to me. They they end up turning off some channels because uh, Ray Studio Two always applied them when you either clicked on the OK button in the Math Channel function or when you opened the test and they were being automatically applied. And uh, some of the guys that had you know old laptops that they had repurposed into stuff that was uh, you know old, old technology, old uh, you know slow computers or something, that sometimes would take a little bit of time. So this is very good. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I think it's an it's an improvement uh, if compared Very to so. to Ray to Ray Studio Two. Uh, 
um, another difference uh, with uh, with the Ray Studio Two analysis is that in the Ray Studio Two analysis you could have uh, two um, two moments in which uh, you open the mat channel uh, mat channel uh, computation window. Uh, one is uh, with no session open, and the other one is uh, with uh, one or more sessions uh, opened for for the for the analysis. Now in Ray Studio Three there is always a session open, and uh, if uh, if you're doing analysis and you open the math channels, uh, you will be prompted the the channels as uh, as identifiers. So you will be prompted the channels of the open sessions, and uh, instead, if you are only looking at the database, uh, you will be prompted the identifiers as as identifiers of the channels that are into the selected session in the in the database. So there will always be uh, an open session from which to take uh, to take the channels. Uh, so let's let's uh, illustrate uh, let's illustrate in a few slides uh, these meta channels application window. Uh, this uh, this is the the, the the main window. It's the first window when you that, that you are prompted when uh, when you click uh, the math channel icon. Uh, in on the left of it, you have on the left of it you have all all uh, you have a list of all uh, your your channels. They are they are grouped by by areas. Uh, and uh, we we will see in just a few seconds uh, how how you can define those areas and uh, what what you can do with them. Uh, on the right part of the of this window, you have a big space for a comment and uh, and uh, and another edit box in which uh, in which you are prompted the formula of the match channel. So uh, as you as you select uh, different channels, you can immediately see. Uh, what they what they are doing either by their formula or by by a comment that uh, you decided to to add. Why you're uh, why you're there? <clears throat> the box on the left is you've got some different uh, icons, right? There's a blue triangle. There's a yellow star. What do yes. what, what do some of those mean, and what are we going to see there? Or is, are you going to talk about that a little bit later? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm talking about them, but uh, no, no problem. I can introduce them now. Uh, when uh, you see that there's a our classic cogged wheel icon here on the on the right, uh, just clicking on uh, on the cogged wheel, you are prompted a, a pop up menu, and you can select uh, to enable this channel for all the sessions. Uh, for all the sessions you open from now on, or you can decide to enable this channel only for a session of a specific uh, a specific uh, logger ID. Uh, in case you enable it for uh, for all the chat all the sessions, uh, you are uh, you you will be seeing a yellow star on the on the left. In case you enable it for only some uh, some loggers you will be seeing and uh, it, it's it's always a star but it's uh, it's empty it's an empty star gotcha. uh, on the left here the, the small blue, blue triangles are are those that can are those through which you can expand or or collapse uh, uh, the areas here on the blue on the blue uh, name with with a blue string uh, we we show the the areas that are grouping all all these uh, these channels. Uh, the mat channel uh, mat channels in Ray Studio Three come uh, with uh, a default uh, some with the, some default channels. Uh, one of the one of the areas one of the sets that uh, we supply by default are all all GPS channels that you can uh, you can maybe decide uh, that you can apply with uh, with each one of our of our devices that have a, a GPS. Uh, we, pop those are popular channels that we've shared for years and yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of our previous webinars have talked about those uh, channels specifically yeah. in Ray Studio too. So if you've if you see them, there there they are. They're going to be available for you as a default package in the in the Ray Studio three for you. Yeah, absolutely. At the moment, uh, at the moment, we are missing uh, all, we are missing some channels that that were available by default into the Ray Studio two analysis, mm -hmm. but we are we are adding them uh, very quickly, and so we will be soon back. Uh, as as I told you, you just need to 
uh, and to click on the cockade wheel, select the channel, enable it, and uh, and then click uh, apply and uh, exit. There's there one, one more thing about that right there. Sorry to interrupt, uh, Milano. I was afraid you're going to change the sheets. The uh, that cogged wheel, uh, and this mm -hmm. uh, this works this way in Ray Studio Three software all through. Uh, that cogged wheel that's showing there under the uh, corner lap distance um, function it, that that only shows up when you hover over it. And there's a there's other areas in the software that do the same thing. So as you're moving your mouse around. You yep. may uh, you'll you're going to find some of these uh, these user settings when you hover over specific things, and it's really just done to to keep the software from being too cluttered and only giving you the options that you need when you need them. But if you don't see that cogged wheel, just take your mouse over and hover over a certain math channel, and you'll get that yep. uh, get that option. We, we are trying to keep uh, consistency in uh, using the cogged wheel to to say to tell to tell the user there are options uh, just there. You just uh, have to click and uh, to see what uh, what you can do with it. Perfect. Uh, so let's go into into another slide, and we now describe all the all the main uh, buttons that are that are in this uh, in this window. You have a, a green plus button that uh, tells you that you can add a new channel. With the red cross button, you you can delete a channel. With the, the third uh, the third icon, you can edit uh, edit the, the selected mat channel. With uh, this uh, this icon, you can clone it, so you you can start from a, from a channel and create a copy of it and uh, and modify modify its copy. And then uh, you can find. Uh, uh two button one, one two buttons one for for importing channels and uh, through this button you can uh, import uh, both uh, rs2 math channel sets and uh, rs3 math channel sets and there is an export function that uh, allows you to save uh, uh, to save uh, your channels uh, into into a, into a, a in, into a file on on that the you, pen drive or that you can share with uh, with all of your friends absolutely. or even more as just as important as mm -hmm. the backup so you have a have them available for yourself later if yeah. you change on another computer or something and when uh, when you click the export button uh, you can uh, decide to be sharing to be exporting a, a single channel an area so a, a subset of channels or all all of your your channels so and uh, another difference uh, from Ray Studio 2 is that uh, in uh, in Ray Studio 2 when you use the the import function you were you were substituting all your channels with uh, with those that you were importing now here in Ray Studio 3 if you click the import button all your existing channels uh, are are staying there we are creating a new a new area Named the uh, named with the the name of the file you are importing and uh, maybe time uh, time and day, uh, so you will be importing uh, new channels channels into a separate area. So you can you can uh, uh, you can have uh, several several imports uh, without uh, losing uh, losing your existing uh, channels. Very so, good. That was one of my uh, most common. Um... Things mm -hmm. I needed yeah. to add to math channels or questions I got about math channels was that very thing. So very, very good. Yeah, very requested. Uh, so let's uh, jump to the next slide uh, here. Uh, when uh, when you decide uh, to enable a channel, you can, with those, those two buttons, you can decide to verify the formulas. So in, in case you click at the verify, all these channels are double checked uh, against, uh, against the name of the channels of your selected session. And uh, here you are prompted. Uh, we in, ca in case anything uh, goes wrong, uh, here we prompt. Uh, uh, Oops, sorry, I mistake. I clicked. Uh, here we prompt a warning icon, and uh, when you select a, a channel with a warning icon here on the right, uh, we we go displaying uh, uh, what what's uh, what's the problem and uh, help you to into a solution. Uh, and uh, here with the apply channels, uh, when you click this, uh, the channel are physically applied from uh, from now on to to all uh, to all your sessions. Uh, so let's go into into uh, the next slide. Uh, here, as as I was uh, just uh, starting speaking of, uh, uh, here is uh, an area in which uh, we display all all possible problems with. Uh, all potential problems with the channel computation and uh, 
our, our aim is to guide uh, to guide you out uh, in case of any problem uh, uh, to to write here a hint to to understand what's uh, what's wrong with the channel and how to uh, how to modify modify it to to have her to have a perfect application to the to the session that's uh, that's selected uh, when uh, uh, if compared to Ray Studio 2 um, uh, Ray Studio 2 was uh, important to um, to define math channels with uh, with a specific uh, order so in case you had a, a channel b that was referring to a channel a channel a was uh, uh, was uh, the, the the best uh, the best thing to do with the race to the two was to place the channel a before the channel uh, the channel b so for so for a best uh, so, so for a, a good computation to to be done when, when you click okay uh, here in Ray Studio 3, the order of the channels is uh, is less important because Ray Studio 3 is uh, creating a kind of a loop that that uh, double checks uh, the the channels several times in in order to in order to understand if a channel is depending on another one. So so to have. Uh, so to have the, the, the correct computation just at the, at the first uh, the first click. So uh, the only thing that is not uh, that is not managed and uh, it's not is not uh, solved by by Studio Three is uh, what we call uh, a channel loop. Uh, what's a, what's a channel loop? Uh, suppose you create a, a channel uh, A that uses another channel named b that uses another channel named c that uses another channel that that's the first one named a this is a, this is an impossible loop and uh, because uh, to compute a you need b to compute b you need c and uh, to compute c you need uh, the origin of it you need a this cannot cannot be solved and uh, risk tree is not uh, is not computing uh, your your channels uh, uh, in in this case. It's it's not uh, it's not locking, but it's not computing the values of uh, of the channels. Uh, this this happened also. This could happen also in Ray Studio Two uh, analysis, and it was managed uh, differently. But uh, I think now we 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 can guide you into into understanding uh, this this possible channel loop that. Amen. This this uh, this option where you have don't have to have, you know, your calculation uh, above, you know, a, a has to be before B before C is was probably my second most um, question I received in Ray Studio Two math channels. They had their formula correct, right? Mm -hmm. But it just did not work, and it, and and they and they had the order flipped and where they had the channels in the list. So the you, what you've done here is going to be very helpful to a lot of people. The, the I, I do see a question over there that uh, let let's okay. say you can you easily move the channels around in the list, or have you not given that uh, ability because it doesn't matter where they fall in that list? That was a question that Tice kind of asked in, in the question. Uh, that's that's the answer. Uh, we we are not uh, allowing you to move uh, to move channels uh, because uh, we we don't need a specific uh, order to be to be set into the. Into the so channels. as long as they're in the list, it's going to work, and and you don't perform this this loop of it, it, uh, craziness. To. <laughs> so yeah, well we, we will we will see. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's move into the into the next slide. Uh, as I told you, it's it's not ready now, but uh, soon here all, all the channels that were in the in the Ray Studio Two analysis uh, default uh, default set, and uh, uh, just uh, just before here in this area, there are there are times in which uh, we still display some uh, some error code that is not guiding. Uh, that is not correctly guiding uh, users into into the solution, and we are kind of improving uh, uh, what we display in that part of the okay. in that part of the in the analysis software. Some of the uh, math channels, those 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 the, what I always called the aim default channels in Ray Studio Two. Some some weren't used heavily, but there there are some that were very heavily used. Aim Gear being one of them that uh, I know a lot of people yeah. will will look mm -hmm. forward to having in the in, in Ray Studio Three. 
Yeah, mgear is using a function named uh, gear, uh, and uh, this function is is using engine speed and and, and then the number the number of the, the minimum gear and the maximum gear uh, that you are using in the session. The same function gear is uh, is uh, here in uh, in Ray Studio three as well. Uh, simply is not uh, is not a purpose as okay. uh, as a default channel, but the the function is there. The same uh, the same as. Uh, uh, is true for uh, for sleep, and the same is the true for for other uh, like aim time uh, or distance. Uh, the, the functions are, are, are there, but uh, I mean we will go back uh, placing the default channels, or so it will be easier for for everybody to 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 have them. No. And we and we similarly had that in Ray Studio two, where we didn't have aim ones, but we had bike lean angle and and some other ones that yep. were in the functions but weren't in this list. So uh, maybe by having them on both, it just makes it every it will easy be easy for everybody. Yeah, I think uh, I think can, I can uh, easily create uh, default channels. Uh, so okay. it's, uh, perfect. I think in the next uh, next release, uh, they they will be they will be. Uh, Okay. Uh, so let's move to to the creation edit of uh, creation or editing of a, of a channel. Um, it's basically what we, uh, what are we speaking of? Uh, we are speaking of a creating uh, a, a, ch a new channel that will be put into this list or to modify one of these uh, one of these uh, channels. So let's go uh, let's go to this uh, to the, to this window. Uh, okay, uh, here, as as before, there there is always a, a loaded session into um, into this uh, uh, into the the Ray Studio three software. So uh, the mat channel application or creation is uh, is always uh, having these channel the channels of the of the loaded session as uh, as identifiers. The this window, the match channel creation window. I'm, I'm calling this from. Uh, I'm calling this way from now on. Uh, is uh, I, I'm I'm going to illustrate the the parts in which this window is uh, is uh, divided. You uh, let, let me yeah. uh, let me make sure of something that um, you just said that that I you passed over fairly quickly, but I think is I don't want to create confusion. I want to make sure we solve no, it. Right. You mentioned that there's always always a channel open, and that's because of when you open up your always database, a, a open. you're in you're always a session open. Because even when you open up your present your your opening page of Ray Studio three, you're mm -hmm. you're in the preview page, right? So whichever test you've actually just selected, it selects the top one by default. But if, uh, if it's sitting there, it's that you're previewing a window. Is that what you mean by there is always a, a, a session open in AIM? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That, that's a session that uh, that's open. Uh, even if uh, you don't have the preview window shown, so if the, your preview window is hidden, uh, the session uh, the session is loaded and uh, it's used into the uh, into the math channel uh, is in uh, memory so it's it's used that's what it would be using yeah. if you don't physically haven't opened a, mm -hmm. a, a, a a session so okay I just yeah, want to make uh, sure that everybody's watching this later understood yeah. what you meant by that perfect the, the open you. session is not uh, is not of a big use into the math channel's uh, creation we know if not for for creating these uh, this list of uh, identifiers that uh, we are going to to see in just uh, just a few seconds. Okay. Uh, I'd like to introduce this part before. These are the area and comment, and these are the the two uh, fields that are populating the other window, the window that we we shown uh, just a few minutes ago, the application uh, the application window. So if you uh, correctly use this uh, area field and this common field, you can. The area is used for separating uh, uh, channels in subsets, and uh, the comment is used to uh, to rapidly uh, to have a quick uh, a quick glance on what uh, on, on what the channel uh, the channel is doing. Uh, okay, let let's move to the next slide. Okay, uh, as as I told you. Here is the identifier, the identifier uh, part of the of, the, of uh, this window. Uh, identifiers come from uh, channels of the loaded sessions, so divided by by its uh, by their uh, by their type. So they they have uh, they, we are grouping here 
divided in types. Uh, so GPS channels of the load extensions, so device channels of the load extension, potential math channels of the load of load extensions, and other math channels that you created. So you can uh, you can easily uh, as before into the Ray Studio Two analysis, you double clicked on uh, on uh, the identifier to place it into the into the formula. And this in here in Ray Studio Three, it's uh, absolutely the same. Just a double click on the identifier, and it, it will be placed into the into the into the formula. Here we are adding also elements coming from the log sheets. The log sheets are now only they are based on at the moment on uh, on weather weather um, weather conditions and uh, we'll be having uh, we'll be having the setup sheet uh, as well uh, you can create uh, you you can use them just uh, with with a double click uh, as for the log sheets uh, item uh, items uh, i will uh, will be speaking about uh, about them in just uh, in just few few seconds uh, let's move to the next slide operators and functions are exact operators are exactly the same as a, as a race to two uh, functions we have uh, added some more. We have the uh, the all, all the functions that were available in uh, Ray Studio Two are available now, and we added uh, we added some more. Uh, what did we have? Well, what did we add? Uh, one is the time shift uh, function uh, to which you pass uh, the channel to be shifted and the, the shift value in seconds. So uh, you can uh, decide maybe. I can uh, illustrate an application I was uh, I was asked for. Uh, just for example, I, I I've been asked for for it for thermocouples for for example that can be uh, maybe cylinder head thermocouples that can uh, be related to RPM and just uh, just being uh, a little bit late in uh, in heating where where the the RPM grows and so some uh, some customers uh, asked me for shifting uh, the value of uh, of the thermocouple just to to align them uh, with uh, with the rpm value this is one of the functions that that uh, we were we were asked uh, for for it uh, okay. we added filters so we you can now use match channels to filter to filter channels so you can uh, uh, you can decide to apply an FIR filter. That's a, that's a truly powerful filter that in, that we added into the Race of Tree by by default, and uh, a rolling average uh, filter. Uh, to these functions, uh, you you just pass uh, numbers. For the FIR, a number from one to three, uh, the FIR is a, a low pass filter that we hard coded into the into the race view tree. Um, we were asked to add filters uh, because uh, uh, there are customers who want to um, to compute the math channel on a filtered channel without. Uh, showing that channel filtered into the time and distance plot so they want to say say you have a noisy rpm uh, uh, noisy rpm channel you want to see the noisy rpm channel into the time distance and you but you want to do computations on uh, on the on the rpm on the, on a filtered value of the rpm so uh, this will using implementing filters into exactly exactly like uh, like functions uh, we made this uh, this available, and okay. uh, what did we had uh, is compared to Race Studio Two some uh, more intuitive uh, operators for um, greater, lower, greater or equal, and lower or equal. So you can now use the uh, how, how how how's the name in English? I, che I don't know. Chevrons or chevrons uh, typically. Chevrons. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that that's. It, uh, it, 
that that was uh, what you can use. So you can use those instead of the LT and GT. What about le yeah. less than and great uh, equal to greater than or equal to? Uh, yeah, we kept them. We kept okay, them because so you still uh, got those. Okay, gotcha. when, when you, because when you import the channels from uh, Ray Studio Two analysis, uh, we we had them and we kept them uh, for for backward uh, compatibility. Okay. But uh, you can now decide to switch uh, into new operators. For from now on. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so let's move to the next slide. Okay. Here as well in Math Channel Creation, you have a verify formula button, and uh, it uh, it goes uh, um, double checking the the channel formula uh, against the against the the identifiers that uh, that you are identifier coming from uh, from the open sessions and here it's displaying uh, possible mistakes or possible errors uh, in, uh, while interpreting the formula uh, again uh, once you the you once you are displayed an error uh, a coded wheel will be guiding you into into a possible uh, into a possible solution uh, one thing that uh, that is not uh, I mean two things that that are not uh, into the into the presentation but I, I think it's worth uh, it's worth to, to, to speak about them one is the channel function you need to select a function to for 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 telling the race studio 3 engine what's uh, what's the purpose of the channel in case you don't want uh, to associate a specific purpose uh, to to a math channel you just have to select uh, a, a number as a function. You, you tell Race 2 3 okay, this is a number, and, uh, and, Resu and for Race 2 3 it's, uh, it's okay. What's, uh, what's the function for? We will uh, be illustrating in just a few seconds. Perfect. And uh, another thing here is these uh, checkboxes, stepped values. Uh, that checkbox uh, tells uh, the drawing engine of uh, Race 2 3 to uh, to draw, uh, it it tells if, if you flag this, it tells the drawing engine not to interpolate the uh, the plot, but to to, to draw it uh, exactly like uh, like uh, like steps. Uh, so it's used. Uh, it's useful maybe for numbers like uh, satellite numbers uh, or for gear. Uh, in case you want uh, you want to do it to to represent a gear onto into a time distance plot it's uh, it's a mistake to interpolate this because uh, you are never in uh, gear 3.4 <laughs> you are <laughs> either 3 or 4 so Perfect. it's uh, it's it's drawing by by step or integer uh, integer values so uh, let's move uh, into, um, into the next slide here is the formula field. Uh, the formula field can be can be filled uh, manually, or uh, our our advice is to, to use the double click here on on identifiers and and uh, into functions because it's uh, way way quicker. Uh, for the syntax of the of the formula uh, that in race to tree is a, a little bit more complicated if compared to to race to two uh, we are going into into a, into a new slide okay so uh, what can you use in the in the formula you can uh, if you want your channel to refer to another channel by its name you need to surround by quotation marks the the reference of channel name. So if you want to do a computation upon RPM, you need to insert RPM with the quotation marks, and it will be so. Your formula will always be looking for a channel by this name. In this case, if you have uh, if you apply this channel to another to another session, and in the other session you are missing a channel with the name rpm the channel will not be will not be computed because 
and you are looking for this specific name as a, as a channel. And in the past, Ray Studio 2 was was very specific on that, uh, capitalized letters, spaces, all mm -hmm. that stuff. And is this the same way? If it was RPM lowercase, would it not recognize it by in this instance? Uh, I, I think uh, I I need to double check, but I do think it's uh, it's uh, case sensitive. So okay. if you if you have a channel that's uh, maybe with a capital R and a PM with a lower lower case, I think it will not be finding because it's okay. uh, it's, uh, exact. it's case sensitive. Yep. Okay. Uh, the use of uh, quotation marks uh, allows us uh, to to more complex uh, naming like uh, using spaces or uh, or so on in the ray studio 2 engine in case you added a space into the into a channel name it was not possible to use it anymore for into into a match channel formula because uh, the two parts of a, of a channel uh, name with a, with a, with a space were were not recognized uh, as a single channel uh, now in Ray Studio 3, we can reference channels also by their functions. So, if you want, uh, uh, if you want to base your your formula upon, uh, say, a water temperature or an engine RPM, whichever is the name of uh, of the water temperature, uh, you have now a, a new operator that uh, I'm going to show in just a second. Uh, that that's named CHF by by the channel function uh, acronym, uh, and you are you can now reference uh, another channel by by its uh, its function. Uh, if you want to reference into your formula a log sheet item, uh, you have to surround the to surround the, the name of the log sheet item with the, the dollar sign. So in, in this case, I added the humidity or dew point uh, within dollar sign. So it will be helpful when we will have a log sheet uh, for maybe the setup sheet of the vehicle uh, to reference maybe the ballast or the vehicle weight or track width or- Ride height or whatever, whatever. Ride height or whatever, whichever field you, you add into the log sheet, you can use uh, the value of uh, that field uh, specific for uh, for the for the session uh, using the the dollar sign. Uh, so, uh, what about the the units? Uh, in the in the formula syntax, uh, you can now specify a channel unit. So this will uh, allow you to write uh, math formulas uh, using uh, thinking. Uh, at a specific uh, unit uh, needed for for that formula. So, if you write a formula that uh, needs the GPS speed being uh, in uh, m mile per hour, you just add the, the into square brackets. Uh, you you add the the unit you want uh, you want the channel computed uh, into, and uh, this will tell the math channel engine to convert the GPS speed, whichever the unit it has, it converts uh, that speed in, into MPH before using it for, for computation. Uh, this uh, is uh, very helpful when, uh, when you have a math formulas, uh, you are taking uh, formulas from uh, books uh, in, which, uh, uh, in which formulas are, are using uh, uh, international system uh, units, and uh, you want to use imperial units. Uh, it it allows you to do it very very easily and uh, in a very straightforward, uh, very straightforward way. Yeah, units are one of our biggest problems in math channels, obviously. And uh, this we're getting a resolution for it. We'll have to us users will need to tinker with a little bit, make sure we've got that uh, figured out. One thing you mentioned there above, a couple things that I that are important is we've got these new use of identifiers and uh, the, the quotes and the and the and the uh, parentheses and the dollar signs, they come across when you double click and add them in if you've added them from the specific spot, which is awful handy. And then you talk about log sheets and, and just saw the question in there. 
uh, or log sheets available now. They they are, but only in the drag racing world and only in in, in the weather world that you talked about. But they will be uh, a future uh, enhancement to the Race Studio Three software, where yeah. you will have log sheets that will be part of the road racing or or. Uh, mm. We are Set not that sheets, far, but right. yeah, so. we are not that far, but they are not uh, they are not ready now. Yeah, but they but they will be coming in the future. So that uh, mm -hmm. somebody yeah. had said, are they available now? And, and they are not, but they uh, but do look for them in the future. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what what else? Uh, okay, we think we can uh, we can move. Uh, there was a little bit more detail the... on your channel function. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, how how to add a channel function into into the formula? Uh, I think uh, uh, the quickest way, uh, because we, we name every function, uh, and I mean, uh, the function names are those you can see when you, when you click on the function button. It's a huge list and uh, uh, it's difficult uh, to remember all of them. Uh, and the name uh, need to have an exact match with, uh, with what uh, we coded into the, the software. So. I think the quickest way to add a, a channel function uh, here is to is to click this uh, this more this uh, line. When you click it, you will be prompted the pop-up menu here, allowing you to choose the the perfect function. And when you select an item from the pop-up menu, it will be added here as a, as a, as a function. So you will be you will be referencing that channel as a as a by function and not and not by name. And that channel uh, functions one, box you've got circled down there, will that grow and stay? If you've, if you've selected RPM, will that list always be there in your Race Studio 3 thing, or is it a, is it a one-time function? Uh, at the moment, function? no, but uh, could be an easy, an easy add in case, uh, okay. in case we, we, think, uh, we think it's useful. So if there's any maybe, added value to it. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it could add the value because uh, if you select always the same uh, the same functions, uh, so having those already available uh, can can be helpful uh, helpful for sure. Uh, I just uh, uh, had one uh, one thing to add here. Uh, when you convert Mat channels from the Ray Studio to uh, software. Uh, they will be converted uh, in uh, in channels uh, uh, using uh, referencing uh, other channels by name, okay. not by function. Okay, so all the channels that you import, all the math channels you import uh, from Ray Studio Two will will be will be converted into, uh, into double having quotes. a quotation. Yeah, double because quotes, yeah, because sure. that function wasn't available. <clears throat> so okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here here are with the channel functions uh, and. Uh, uh, long requested uh, we are adding they will not be in the next uh, release very likely they will not be in but uh, we are we are adding uh, the lookup tables it's another long requested features uh, that that uh, that we had uh, so will be you will be able kind of kind of uh, like uh, the custom sensors you are adding uh, you are uh, I'm going to to the next slide because I maybe I, maybe it's easier to to explain. Uh, kind of uh, having two D tables and three D tables to uh, to compute the value of a channel. So in this in this case, uh, you want uh, you you can add your your table uh, to compute maybe a aerodynamic force uh, upon 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 uh, upon your speed. You add here. Units and uh, starting uh, starting starting function and uh, ending function, and uh, here you can define your own your own uh, curves uh, to compute the channel. So you are computing the force uh, uh, upon upon the speed in in mile per hour. Uh, you enter with the, this is the column of of speed. This is the column of uh, of force, and you enter with the uh, say 60 it will be computed uh, uh, it will be computing the force uh, that will be, be uh, very likely 250 and uh, the same will be will be available for 3d tables so uh, in this table you will be entering say with uh, an rpm with a percentage that can be throttle and uh, you can compute uh, say a target lambda uh, where here is the RPM, 
that's that's my my first uh, my first uh, x uh, or or my my rows are rpm here is my my percentage and here are maybe tar target lambda uh, these functions these uh, this table will uh, will allow some uh, uh, some computation that are otherwise very difficult to be done with uh, with formulas uh, this is the thing we we are adding it's it's not ready now but it's uh, very close to be and uh, and i think you mentioned just a second ago and we certainly did as we were talking about this or yesterday a little bit the, that the the input table won't necessarily be in a in a table like this but it but it'll be in a nice uh, function that aim will provide where you yeah, can uh, you know, uh, it dots will start or, uh, it will start yeah. as a, as a table like this but it will be shown uh, differently sure you, the user <laughs> interface will be easier for our for yeah. for, for guys like kind, me so <laughs> kind of uh, kind of uh, what we have for our custom sensors yeah exactly perfect perfect okay. uh, thank i you. think uh yeah and then we had okay. that okay which we're actually right about about the right time let's feed in a couple of questions here really quickly if you want to yeah, um, sure. um, uh, pass back the the mouse to me to make sure that we don't move around the um a couple of questions the uh, that we had uh, um Looking forward okay. to discussion. Uh, Kyle mentions, and some of these we'll, we'll handle later, but Kyle talks about looking forward to discussion of complex math functions, such as conditions applied. Uh, not sure we want to go into that right now, but it certainly it is doable. Uh, when Gs are uh, kind of an interesting uh, couple that he came up with. Yeah, when Gs uh, are greater than 0.9 uh, and the RPM is greater than 6,000, what is the average oil pressure? Um, yeah. Certainly doable, right? They they should be working now because uh, all, all the operators uh, are, are uh, like Chevrons uh, are, are already available and uh, sure, they, they, they should be going. Perfect. Another discussion, um, another question for discussion down the road, uh, doing math channels functions in the dash. Uh, right now we're limit, a limited number of math, math functionality on the displays themselves, right, in real time. Um, but yeah, we're doing uh, these. Everything we're talking about today is in the software, is in Ray Studio 3, not on, not on the hardware. Yes, it's not on uh, on hardware. The in the configuration you can define some uh, some math channels for for the computation being done into the into the dash. Uh, the dashes uh, have uh, a different uh, math channel engine. Uh, they kind of uh, implemented the, the math channel engine of uh, the Ray Studio 2 software into the dash. Uh, here in Ray Studio 3, we have a more complex one, uh, and uh, it's not uh, fitting into the into the firmware for sure. Uh, but uh, I mean, at the moment, uh, we we allow some uh, some math channels into the dash. Some uh, uh, I, we we have the bias for for the breaking. We we allow some uh, addition multiplication. We have linear correctors. But uh, they are they are very very simple. Uh, I don't know if in the future we can allow some some more into the into the firmware. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at the moment we we are happy and uh, we see happy customers with the, with those we we have. Maybe more. I don't know. Yeah. It's always a balance, right? There's there, there's only yeah. so much horsepower and so much computation power on the display where we can do a lot of it. Obviously, yeah, that, uh, much more powerful. That's basically on, on the main reason. Yeah. Um, uh, Tice mentions, and I know that we're it's not uh, it's not finished. So, two D, three D tables. Can we cotton, copy paste from Excel or CSV in the future? Do you think? Yeah, I, I think so because I, with the because the the tables we we now use are CSV files, and uh, I think you can define them using uh, using Excel and save uh, save as a CSV. Gotcha. We, we'll see. And we should, should be, be able. We'll probably should we'll be, be able to bring those in that way. So okay. Yeah, should should be easy to to do it. Okay, and um, uh, Pekka mentions something that uh, that is not math channel specific, uh, as he mentions in the question. But uh, engine analysis, uh, different functionality uh, that is available in Ray Studio uh, Two. Okay, yeah. That's uh, once Ray Studio Three gets up and running, then I suppose uh, added functionality will be coming. My my aim is to make uh, the, the the feature of the engine analysis that we had in the Ray Studio Two. I, my aim is to make it available in Ray Studio Three using only math uh, math channels because uh, the engine analysis was uh, was computing the engine power 
uh, was estimating, it was not computing, it was a kind of estimating engine power. And then it was displaying uh, the engine power in uh, versus RPM. And that's, that's a scatter plot. So once we are able to compute uh, uh, power with a, with a match channel, the engine analysis is already is already doable into the uh, race to the tree. And then so. you can display it in a scatter plot if you wish to, right? Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, additional functions will be happening. A suspension analysis. Think all of those kind of things will uh, are, are things to do in the future. We needed to get the core uh, six uh -huh. or seven functions done and working well, once, and then once go we to work. once we have the log sheets, uh, we can uh, we can arrive to an engine analysis and to a suspension analysis directly with uh, what we have now into the Ray Studio Ray Studio Three. So the only thing we are missing, in my my opinion, is uh, uh, is math channels that are being released in the, in the next. Uh, uh, one or two releases and uh, the log sheets that are coming uh, uh, after those. So once we have uh, completed the, the math channel and the log sheets, uh, the engine analysis and suspension analysis are available. Okay. Um, uh, Jeff asked one in the chat box that I that uh, mm -hmm. you hate to put you on the spot. You may not know exactly, but uh, Ray Studio Two, the the amount of characters was limited. I believe it was two fifty six. Two fifty. Uh, two fifty in Ray Studio Two. Two five zero. That's what Jeff had guessed. Two five zero. Well. Yes. And Where are we uh, at with limits in Ray Studio Three? There, there is no limit if not uh, brain <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or PC or, or PC. <laughs> or PC. My, my yeah, brain would run out first, but the PC uh, would also run out at some point, right? Okay. No, no, no. You, you can, you can write. Uh, no, maybe I, I added the limit into the into the edit box, and it should be truly high, maybe two thousand, uh, two thousand chance. But I mean. That limit uh, is arbitrary. Is, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, it, if no, you ever find that, if those of you that are watching this, if you find that limit and it's not enough, let us know. And it sounds like we could uh, uh, bump it up if needed. But it's uh, what, huge what now. I normal, what I normally advise is to divide uh, maybe conditions uh, or, or or complex channels into simpler channels to to state if uh, any sim any single condition works by itself, and then to to put them together into a complex uh, into a complex channel. So to always be able to understand when a match channel is not uh, is not working, uh, where where is the reason for it not no not to. Yeah, there was only I've only ran into a character limit uh, in one situation, and that was where I was trying to do a calculated gear, where uh, 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 mile per hour based on the in 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 a six speed gearbox and the and the string. By the time you did all the math and kept on stringing it together, we uh, I ran out of characters. But uh, 250, 250 characters was almost always enough uh, before. So mm -hmm. if you've lengthened it any you know to two thousand or something, we're we're going to be we're going to be good, I think. Okay, uh, Bruce asks: Is there a way to quantify the conversion of the math channel to be sure it is correct? Uh, certainly, you're, uh, we mentioned it a couple of times. There is going to be an uh, error messages will be coming up and quantifying uh, and trying to give you hints on what is wrong uh, uh, very quickly. Um, uh, Kyle uh, mentioned something I think is uh, something we've also covered maybe, but. Uh, Remember hearing that there was a smart handling of channel names. That's where we uh, we we just ch chatted about that. Where where throttle position, you can say that that function is the throttle position sensor, and then you can have any channel name you want as long as you put the um, uh, yes, the, what was it the square brackets? I don't remember the uh, the, the exact uh, um, uh, channel function. So channel you would just put CHF, CHF yeah. and then put it uh, inside what the function is. And then anything so, that's named uh, engine RPM that is called the the, the engine RPM function, you're, mm -hmm, it's yeah. going to be off and running. So yeah, absolutely. So we're good on that. And and then Matt has one up there with automatic unit configure conversions. It works for pressures, temperatures, speeds, uh, degrees to radians. Uh, any other? Uh, Matt's asking. Uh, uh, any other units that convert? I don't think we have a radians, but maybe we can. It's a, it's an easy add. A lot of functions, a lot of our math formulas yeah, have used right. angles in the past, used radians, so that would probably be a, a wise one. You are right. Matt is right, not uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you and Matt are right. I'm just hanging on. Um, perfect. Uh, I think we've went through the questions. Let's uh, let's kind of close this one up. But the, such a valuable topic, and um, 
hopefully we have gone through enough of the uh, the, the 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 math channel functionality to get people up to speed and trying it and coming up with new questions and such. If if you have questions about it. Um, certainly, uh, you can send them to, to, to me. We'll have our contact information in just a little bit. But obviously, we want to, uh, to send them to the software at aimsportline.com email address that will also show you in just a moment so you can see it. We, uh, anything to do with uh, anything Race Studio 3 like this, make sure we always include software at uh, AIM Sportline. So we'll. Yeah, uh, sure. And uh, as I have uh, just a thing to say, um, when, nice. when you, we always advise to send feedbacks uh, and uh, to use the aim support uh, button, uh, I see comments in which uh, which people uh, are afraid that uh, those those uh, advices, those feedbacks, uh, get lost. Uh, we are we are reading them, so be sure that uh, we we are considering all of them. It's only that uh, there are truly a lot of them, and uh, we we cannot answer. All, all the comments we cannot answer all, all people, but uh, for sure they're they're not lost. Uh, without a doubt, the, the the question I've seen a couple times is there is the the send a note to aim or you know, the support button, and then there's the email address of software at uh, aim sportline. Both of them are heading in, and uh, in this time of of going from beta to production and all the extra work that is on the software team they are seeing them all uh, emiliano is seeing many many or most of them certainly somebody from the team is and they are are, are uh, uh, putting those into uh, priority so while you may or may not get a uh, email back asking for if you don't get an email back you probably gave enough information for them to be able to prioritize and, and fix the problem so um, you you may get an email back you may not as what emiliano is saying but they are all being seen so yeah sure perfect Perfect. The, um, the this video, this 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 webinar, just like all the rest of them, is uh, is going to be turned around as fast as I can do it, as fast as YouTube uh, allows me to convert and put it up there. Uh, will be placed onto our YouTube site, uh, and so it'll be up there within an hour or so. Um, lots of other information there as well, and uh, check it all out if you if you get a few minutes to go through there. Uh, lo lots of good information that's available to everybody. Um, we're out there uh, it's this time of year, right? We're out there all the time. I know all of our tech support guys are on the road uh, at events uh, happening ev virtually every weekend now. And uh, if you see them at the track, say hi, give them a, give them a cold ice water, uh, give them a bottle of water or something. They're, they're, they're working hard out there in the, in the heat typically, uh, or give us a call at the 800 number um, and, and uh, help, us, uh, help us help you resolve your issues. That's uh, it's very important to us. The, um, what's next? As I mentioned a little bit as we started, and uh, maybe even before we started to record, we're going to be uh, uh, we're doing a series of seven or eight uh, webinars in a row here that are that are talking about the basics and 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 getting some some videos and with uh, via these webinars where people can look at these for quite some time in the future. Uh, the next one will be the next in the step, which is uh, let's say you're using Ray Studio Two now. You didn't. Um, tinker with the the beta program you know some people don't want to uh, work in, in the beta environment that and i certainly understand that so you've been working in ray studio 2 the entire time and you're you're getting ready to um, see if you want to make the move to ray studio 3. next week is all about uh what are things you need to do in order to begin to the the to to, to transfer your information from Ray Studio 2 into Ray Studio 3 and start to use it correctly. So tips and tricks to get you started right on that transition. If you if you choose to do it, you may wait till the end of uh, uh, this coming season. Uh, there, uh, so this the video hopefully will be uh, be used by by folks uh, uh, in the in the in the near future and in the distant future as people are starting to make that transition. So uh, as of right now, I'm going to host that one by myself. That's always a tight wire to have all this production stuff. <laughs> pushing a couple of buttons but uh and and talk through but we'll see uh we'll see how it works or maybe we'll bring somebody in we'll we'll, we'll see how it works out um but that's what we're going to talk about next week is 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 uh some of the stuff we talked about today ray studio 3 two math channels coming into ray studio 3 will be a part of that one as well as as other things the uh contact information if you have some more questions or you're watching this uh uh, later on on YouTube and, and maybe we, we covered something or you have a question about it, 
uh, here's your here's your contact information. You certainly can send some stuff to me, but always include either use the uh, the the functionality inside of the Ray Studio to to uh, to to send the stuff directly to AIM in Italy, or include the software at aimsportline.com uh, email address that, that's down here is uh, contact information for Emiliano. Uh, if you send it to both of those, we'll, we'll make sure we get it uh, into the uh, uh, into the flow of, of of getting things either get you some answers or or, or fix some problems as, as we find them so appreciate it um uh, emiliano anything else that you'd like to uh chat about as we're kind of closing this one out no i just uh i just want to say thank you to aim sports and to you because uh i think uh, your customer support uh service is uh, is a huge part of our success no doubt and you and your uh, and same back at you with uh, with you and your team uh, at the software guys uh, in Italy. Uh, I know it's been a lot of work. Uh, it's not all that you're doing, and uh, but boy, uh, a lot of stuff happening, and, uh, and and we're reaping the results here and and seeing some of the benefits, and and uh, and we'll continue on. So I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody that showed up. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching uh, later on on YouTube as you're learning more more and more about uh, Race Studio Three software and. If, especially the math channels here today. Look for some other ones that are out there on, the, on other functionalities in Ray Studio 3 on YouTube. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And we will talk to everybody next, next Tuesday. Bye-bye.